Thank you very much indeed. I, I have learned a lot about myself this week. I learned that my mum pretty much lives to embarrass me. We were in a car on a motorway stuck in traffic and this bloke got out of his car, knocked on our window and went, can I have your photo? <laughs> That's fairly weird. It's made even weirder when your mum goes, Help! <laughs> He's kidnapped me! <laughs> He's using me as his sex slave! Help! <laughs> the hell did you do that for? I'm going to quote my mum directly when I say, because I'm 57 <laughs> and I don't give a shit. We were in Starbucks the other day. You know when they do that thing, like, can I take your name? My mum's like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> My creator calls me number four. <laughs> I've never seen confusion like it. <laughs> Poor girl's writing number four on a cup. <laughs> Cappuccino for number four. That's for me. <laughs> This is a woman who last year was pissed on a plane, genuinely going, Ras, Ras, look, look, I'm walking in the air. <laughs> I went on holiday with her. I don't recommend that. We arrived in Dubai and this bloke was behind the counter. He's like, ah, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Howard, how are you? You're like, whoa. They thought <laughs> we were a couple and my mum played up to it for the entire week. <laughs> I was waiting for her at breakfast one morning. I swear to God, my mum walks in and just went, oh my God, what a night. I've never had sex like it! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she told one of the waiters I was a male prostitute that she got cheap because my eyes were lazy. <laughs> she is an absolute <laughs> lunatic. I had a rude boy kid come up to me the other day. He was in an apple shop. He was, he was just this little sort of rude boy white kid, like, comes up to me like that. He's, like, about nine, and he's like, oh, my days. <laughs> You're Russell Howard, you don't mean, oh, my days. You haven't had any, you're four. <laughs> He's like, man, you're well jokes. Do you know that? You're well jokes. And then he starts showing me jokes that I've told on this laptop in the shop. Look at that. I was like, yeah, I remember I said it. Yeah, that was all right, that one. I didn't mind that. <laughs> and, I, and I got a bit embarrassed because he wouldn't leave me alone. I said, what, what do you want to be when you're older? Footballer, innit? <laughs> And so I said, good luck with the football. This is how cocky and full of swagger this young boy was. He honestly looked at me and went, good luck with the comedy. <laughs> and off he bounced. <laughs>